Well, good morning, everybody. Got a couple of sprinkles near Cross City. Had a few sprinkles and some lucky spots overnight. It wasn't much, but we'll take a couple of drops and drips for those thirsty lawns, gardens, and greens. And I think as we go through the next couple of days, same kind of story. Today, tomorrow, both. We're not going to put the rain chances at zero. But we're not going to count on a whole lot of rain. Now, Friday, we have a much better chance to bring in some showers and storms as some energy is lining up over the central plains all the way down to Texas. And there's a much better chance to see some of that get here then. But that's Friday. Today, just Wednesday. We're at 63 degrees in Tallahassee right now, 62 in Valdosta, and 61 in Thomasville. It's kind of a nice morning out there, a little on the warm and muggy side, but it's the middle of May. It's supposed to be warm and muggy. Normal low is supposed to be 60 degrees. Normal high is 86. Right where we topped out yesterday, but we got that 86 yesterday with pretty extensive cloud cover for most of the day. Today, I think we get a little bit more sunshine, and that will allow those temperatures to climb just a little bit higher. Nice to see a few numbers in the 50s this morning. Quincy's at 59, Carabella Wilmer at 58 degrees, Live Oak is 68 degrees. We're at 67 in Perry, and 63 has been a pretty popular temperature most of the morning. Areas like Albany, Camilla, Moultrie, St. Mark's. All joining Tallahassee at 63 degrees. There isn't a lot of wind out there. We do have a lot of moisture. So, of course, fog, one of our concerns. In Blakely, visibility is still just a mile and a quarter. Many areas, especially in South Georgia, reduced visibilities this morning. Now, you can see some of the showers and storms to the west. There is some big activity across those central plain states. We'll watch this and see how well it holds together over the next 48 hours. The main area of energy driving this is heading north. We're going to catch the tail extension of it, the cool front that gets pulled across the area. That's on Friday. Other side of that cool front is some drier air, which is great news for the weekend. But as the boundary gets here into this warm, humid, unstable air, and today we're going to have more of those south and southwest winds to bring in even warmer and more humid air. Well, I think we will talk about some showers and some chances for a few thunderstorms on Friday. Here's future cast. Not much expected today. Tomorrow, maybe a couple more showers than today. But even then, I don't expect big activity. It's Friday that we have the best chance when that boundary gets here. One of the things you need to get those showers and storms is something to shake those showers from the clouds. We didn't really have that yesterday. We're not going to really have it today, and we probably won't have much of it tomorrow. But Friday we will, and that's why the rain chances go up each day, especially peaking on Friday. Now, winds on the Gulf, southeast and south, 5 to 15. Your seas, two feet or less, mostly smooth conditions in the bays. A pretty good day for the boaters today. High tides, they're next up. They'll start going in about 20 minutes, and they'll finish up before 10 a.m. 60s with more sunshine this morning, warming quickly. The sun will be up at 646, by the way. This afternoon, warm, humid, more sun, still some clouds, and the rain chances are not zero, but they're also not real good. Let's go upper 80s, hopefully not quite busting 90. Mid 60s tonight, warm and muggy. The sun sets at 822, and like these last couple of nights, the temperatures won't drop all that much. Not when we keep a couple of clouds around, and not when we have such humid air around. We've got more warm, we've got more muggy, and we've got showers coming. Hopefully Friday that can cool us down a little bit. I like the weekend forecast right now. A little less muggy and still kind of sunny with those temperatures in the 80s. I think it gets a little bit more icky sticky again by Monday.